texturing is an essential part of 3D modeling workflow. It allows artists to add microscopic details to model surface, such as wrinkles, flaws, fracture, damages, and bumps, without putting much load on the hardware or software. Texture artists are responsible for applying color and surface attributes to 3D objects. Texturing is in fact the art of clothing the 3D model with 2D images. It is an essential characteristic of the surface of a model, making it look like real by wrapping it all around. Substance Painter is a great software for texturing 3D models. It provides a non-destructive workflow that allows artists to change colors, level of dirt and dust, logo, position, etc. But before starting the texturing process, we need to analyze the texture references and define the elements of each texture set. So let's break down the images first. In the first, I can see a metallic red texture and roughness variation with ambient dirt. The roof is made of the same material with a grey color and a rough finish. For the chassis, there is grainy black metal with dust impact and also a carbon fiber material for the front and rear mud guards. A bronze material with a dust layer and a steel material in the wheel half. After analyzing, you can search for those materials in Substance Community Asset. Substance comes with some smart materials and we are also gonna use those. If you have baked mesh maps, you have to import those into Painter. Click on the plus button in the asset library panel and add resources. Select the path and import those as textures. After importing, go to the texture set panel, scroll to the bottom and add the texture into their respective slots. Now just drag and drop the smart material and tweak those like reference images. Sometimes default smart materials don't look like reference images. Then we could combine multiple smart materials to get our desired look. Texturing is entirely an artistic choice, so it doesn't mean that you have to include everything like reference images. We use reference images to know where and how much dust we need, how much edge wire is going to appear, where we need damages and grunge, etc. After all of this, you must get as close to the reference images as possible. As we are preparing this model for a game engine, we focus on normal details of a geometry. For stamping out the normal detail in an object, you could import your own alpha maps or normal maps. For an alpha stamp, go to the alpha section, select the alpha and create a layer. Then go to the properties panel. Click on high and drag the slider a bit. Then add the stamp. If you want to stamp in a normal map, you could select the normal map, drag it into the normal channel, set the alpha to shape bell and stamp. After we are done with texturing, we can now export those. Ctrl Shift E for opening up the export panel, set the output directory and output template, then export. You can make different folder for each texture set and export them one by one to stay more organized. If you want to assign a different material in same texture set, you could add a black mask to the material you want to assign. Click on the polygon field and select the desired section. In conclusion, Substance Painter is a powerful 3D painting software that provides a non-destructive workflow and allows artists to add texture to 3D models easily. It is perfect for having full control over textures of a unique 3D model. I hope this information was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions. So this is for now and I will catch up with you in the next one.